Hey guys, welcome back. Hungry Man 97 Collectibles here with another video. It's going to be kind of a hopefully a short video of a really cool error card, one that I came across here recently, got for a good price. And one of my favorite error cards that I've been trying to get a hold of for a long time. This is the 1990 Upper Deck Mike Witt. Played for the Angels and the Yankees, threw a no-hitter, had a pretty good career. And uh, this is his card, and this is the second year Upper Deck made cards, kind of the premium card coming out in the Junk Wax era. But something very strange about this card, I mean, I'm going to put a bunch of, bunch of scans up on this one here. So this is card number 702. That's important to know because, well, I'll tell you later. But uh, Mike Wood had another card in the set where he was on the Angels, and I'll put up a picture of that one. But this 702 was made, it was put into packs, and it's quickly pulled. So a lot of people did t get them out of packs, and they were really, really valuable. Some stories say there is only about 50 of them made. I doubt that's true, but, you know, it was a pretty valuable card. Because on the back was this big old black box. This is the Mike Witt black box error card. But what's that black box there for? Well, we'll get to that here in a second. So they, it was a really valuable card. It was selling for a lot of money. And apparently a few years later, maybe 10 years later, whatever, someone found like a big box of these in a flea market, like bought an 800 count box of just this card with the black box on the back. There's been no known cards without that black box on there. And so that kind of flooded the market, drove the prices down a little bit, which is good. It's still kind of a valuable card. But what is that black box for? So... I couldn't find a whole lot. I did a lot of research on that, and there was a couple people saying that the black box was covering up something, something inappropriate, like he was undoing his belt or undoing his pants, or he had something going on there. It's like, come on, why does it always got to be that? I thought there'd be a different reason the black box was there, but I don't really think that's the case there, because look how big the black box is. I mean, if they were just going to do the work of putting a printing a black box over you know, about a third of the card, a little well, closer to half of the back of the card, they would have just pulled the card all together. So I don't know if I buy that whole story, but something I did not notice until recently here is that if you look really close and shine a light on the black box, <clears throat> there is, there's something underneath it. So it's printed over the picture, this black box, and you can actually see some stuff on there. You can see like his Yankees logo on his jacket and you can kind of see, you know, he's holding a mitt in one hand obviously. And you can see that through the black box there. So I held it the light. I'm going to throw up a bunch of, well, a couple scans anyway, of me doing that. And you can kind of see for yourself that uh, there, you can see him behind the black box. But honestly, it wasn't really conclusive. I'm going to let you guys decide. Uh, I didn't see anything inappropriate, but it could have been there. It was pretty well covered. So I to go along with this, they made a checklist, card number 800 out of the same upper deck set, 1990, showing card number 702, Mike Witt. And it also had a black box on the back of the card. I'll show you a picture. Why did they put a black box on the, on the checklist? But you can see Mike Witt's name on there. Well, they corrected that, and they came out with the corrected number 800 checklist, but with a different card as 702. They had the Expos triple threats. I, I forget what it was called, but it's like it has three Expos on it. And they decided to pull that Mike Witt card all together and replace it with this uh, triple threats card. And I don't really know why, but Mike Witt had his own card as an angel and, a, and another one that I, I throwed up a picture of. And they just left it corrected as this triple threats par card. So you can get that card for cheap. You can get the checklist for cheap. Uh, checklist number 800. And there's not much mystery, not much answers about this. I actually called Upper Deck on the phone. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't call them. But <laughs> I, I couldn't find any more information online there. So I'm curious if anyone else knows anything more about it. I mean, if you have heard of this card, if you've had, if you've been able to find one, or maybe know some more story about that black box on the back, let me know. Leave some comments about it there. But a cool one, one of my favorite errors, and I wanted to show you guys. That's all I got for you. A little bit shorter video today. I appreciate you tuning in. We've got some other cool videos up coming up, and uh, we got some good audio going on now. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you next time.